Today's webinar will be presented by Brian Dahl, Application Performance Engineer at New Relic, and Iran Yamin, Solutions Manager at Lucid Imagination. Uh, for those of you who are interested, the uh, presentation will be available for download after the presentation has been completed. Uh, we, will, we will also make available uh, an on-demand webcast within 24 to 48 hours. Check the Lucid Imagination blog for details on where to download the slides and do the on-demand webcast. Uh, we will um, be accepting questions throughout the presentation, but we will only answer them at the end. So if you have a question, please submit it through the Q&A interface. Uh, we will take, uh, take questions as, uh, as and when they are received and do our best to, uh, to answer them. I expect we'll have about uh, 10 or 15 minutes towards the end of the presentation for uh, Q&A. And with that, it's my pleasure to turn the webinar over to Brian Dahl of New Relic. Brian? Thank you so much, David. Hello, everybody. Um, we're going to talk today about uh, the new performance portal that, uh, that Lucid Imagination has uh, right off their website. We're going to talk about the URL a little bit later. But uh, I'm from, from New Relic, where we uh, look into through here. Uh, we have a product called RPM. Uh, this is a uh, application management um, and performance management tool that we've had uh, up and running. Actually, today we're celebrating a two-year anniversary of the product. Um, we started out doing performance management for Ruby and Rails apps uh, and have since added J uh, the Java stack to, uh, to that same suite of tools. So RPM is a software service uh, that you subscribe to on a monthly basis and you sort of hook your servers up. Uh, we'll show a little bit more later on how that all works. Um, we, have, uh, we, we had this long list of, of Ruby and Rails customers and uh, as we started getting into the Java stack, we we're noticing that you know, both our Rails customers and our Java customers uh, were using solar. And uh, it was something that was, um, it was interesting to us. We, I think we noticed it most in the Rails space because it was kind of interesting that we were getting so many uh, customer signups for our Java product uh, by way of, of solar uh, from previously just uh, you know, Rails customers. And uh, so we talked to those guys about how, how the product was helping them uh, manage that solar infrastructure. Um, and we found out that you know, it was really great to see RPM uh, does a lot of great stuff for uh, showing generic Java application performance uh, and especially specific app performance for J2E servers. Um, but in response to specifically solar, we were really lacking. You know, there's a lot of information that you can get out of uh, out of a solar environment, and uh, at the you know six months ago we really weren't showing any of that stuff. So we were really interested in, in sort of figuring out how we could answer that uh, for those customers. So so we built that product. Um, we started looking into what types of, of aspects of managing solar performance would be interesting to folks, and uh, and built a product and shipped that. Uh, it's been in beta. Um, for, for a little while, and it's been in production for um, a couple months now. And uh, it's been really, really great for us. You know, we've got a lot of great feedback from our existing customers and, and brought on a lot of new customers. And uh, we've, we've really seen, I think, uh, for the first time, a lot of metrics uh, it, for solar environments that we just had never seen before. Um, so how, how RPM works in general, basically, is that you have uh, a little bit of agent code that sticks into your applications on uh, on your servers, and uh, that collects metrics uh, in your production environment. And uh, about once a minute, sends that data back to uh, to our application in the cloud. Uh, you know, secure connection over HTTPS, and then you have a you know web browser or mobile interface to check uh, all those performance graphs. So as we go through this presentation, you're going to see some detailed graphs specific to solar. Uh, about performance metrics um, and how we can sort of tune uh, a, a solar environment to, uh, to perform better. And so uh, when we think about um, you know, managing a solar uh, or any really any kind of search infrastructure, there's really two things we think about. Um, the first thing practically is, is really the search quality, right? And, and Lucid is a great partner uh, for that providing services to help their customers get great quality search results, right? We've got to index uh, a ton of data and make good queries against that information and present it in a way that's meaningful. And 